Hey everybody, this is Ted and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this Brother Canvas Workspace tutorial, I'll be go over, going over the following topics. I'll show you where and how to download the Canvas Workspace software. And once you have it downloaded and opened, I'll be giving you a general orientation on the user interface. This will include the various parts of the software, for example, the menu bar, toolbar, control panel, etc. I will not be going over anything specific at this time. This is just a general overview of the software. In future lessons, I hope to cover the specific functions of the software. I should mention that I'll be doing these lessons on an Apple computer. As such, if you are not using an Apple computer, your monitor may look slightly different than what you're seeing on my computer. Also, shortcuts I may use might be different than shortcuts on your computer. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. In the description box below, I'm including the link to download the Brother Canvas workspace. This link works as of the time of this recording. Once you go to that web page, you'll want to make sure you're in the correct region by looking in the upper left-hand corner here. If not, you can change the region by clicking the link under the flag. You'll then want to select the scan and cut machine you have. I have the SDX125, so that's what I'll select. Choose your operating system, either Windows or Mac, and then choose the version of the operating system you're currently running on your computer. So I'm running a Mac with Mac OS 10.14, so this works fine. A lot of times the website, website will detect what you're using, so just make sure it is confirmed and then you will click OK. Read the user agreement and then click Agree to the EULA and Download button. You'll want to choose a location to download the Brother Canvas Workspace and once you've done that, I'm choosing Desktop for example, you'll click Save and it will begin the download. Now I've already downloaded the software so I'm not going to do it twice. But once you have the software downloaded and you've installed it, go ahead and find it on your computer and open it. Now that, that may be double clicking it or right clicking, I'm not sure with your computer what you do to open up a application, but go ahead and open it. I have mine saved in my dock here, so I will just click the Brother Canvas workspace. and you'll have the welcome sign here, the welcome screen. And then you will most likely get something that says news. This basically is where it will let you know if they've come up with a update or something relevant to your software. If you would rather not see this every time you open up the software, you could just click don't ask me again. Personally, I like seeing it because I wanna make sure I'm up to date. So I just click okay to close this. And then next you see the Canvas Project Pattern Collection. This window gives you just some options if you want to start with a project that they've already created for you, but we won't be looking at that right now, so I'm gonna close that. Let me go ahead and make this larger for us to see. Okay, so this is the Brother Canvas Workspace screen, the user interface. And I'm gonna be going over just, again, some general parts of the screen, and in future lessons, I'll go a little deeper into what they do. The first thing we're gonna look at is up here. This is the, called the menu bar. This uh, area contains basic menus for performing operations in Canvas Workspace. So for example, the file, you're able to open up recent files, you could save, you could export, Edit, I'll, I'll get into that later. Layers, again, you'll get that into future lessons. Display is useful to just how you see the program. Window, probably won't use a whole lot. And then help if you wanna find some topics on help. Next, down below it, this, right, this area right here is called the toolbar. And you'll probably be using this quite a bit as it's 
pretty useful. The first icon here is the select tool. Uh, I have, as you see, it's highlighted in blue, so that means I have it selected. That basically, your cursor looks like a little arrow. That allows me to select different items and click on them. To the right of that is the hand tool. Oh, before I forget, if you hover your mouse or your cursor over the item, you'll see the actual name of it. And then right to the right of it, you'll see a letter. For example, here you see the V. All that means is that on this Mac keyboard anyway, if I hit the V, I could go directly to this selection. Here, alternatively, I could go to hand tool H or zoom Z. So if I go on hand tool, well, actually, let me go to zoom because the zoom is actually rather useful. The zoom turns into a magnifying glass, as you see here, the cursor becomes a magnifying glass. And if I click, hold down, and drag, then it zooms right in to the area that I selected. Very useful. You'll see that to the right of that is a percentage. I'm at 79%. I can either move this up, move it down by clicking on these little arrows, or I could go directly highlight this and type in a larger number or a smaller number. Now, once I've done that, you'll see, wow, it's, it's pretty large, it's pretty zoomed in. If I want to keep it zoomed in, but want to move around the map, that's what this item is here. It's a hand tool. So I click on this, my cursor becomes a little hand, and I can actually hold down my left mouse button and move the mat around to see what I want to see. I rarely look at something this large, but it's nice to be able to do if, if you have, for example, an intricate design. I'm going to go and zoom this back out to about 80%. And if I scroll up or down, I can actually see more of the mat or less of the mat. Now, if you want to see the ruler along here, as, as your mat may have, I, you just go up to display and go down to show ruler. And you could see up here, it doesn't, I'm sorry, it doesn't show on the map, but up here to the, on, on top of the drawing panel and to the left, you do see the ruler. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. There we go, that's better. Okay, again, this is the toolbar. You'll, you, again, you'll use this frequently. Just be sure that a lot of times I always go back to the select by default because it, it just saves you some headaches later on. All right, the next we'll be looking at is this right here. This section of the software is called the object mode bar. And here is where you will actually choose some main things to do with your software. For example, if, I, if you hover over to this, it says Canvas Project Pattern Collection. So if I click here, it shows us back to that screen we saw when we first opened up the software. I'm going to close that. If I click below shapes, you can see that it has all types of shapes and we'll be covering shapes in a, in a future lesson. Not just shapes, but also borders and then some creative words that are already typed out. That's shapes. If I want to so I'll go back to the shapes up here. If I want to close this and, and hide it, so I have more of my, my screen, I simply click the shapes again, and it closes it. I click it again, and it reveals it. Below shapes is text. Again, the shortcut is T. So click text. It, it's now, you can see it's highlighted, so I'm working with text. And you'll see that the toolbar has changed a little bit. It's added a couple of options here. For example, it adds the font that I may want. And again, just so you know, these fonts will be the fonts that are on your system, on your computer. It changes it to bold, or it could also change the spacing. 
Again, we're going to be going over text in a future lesson, so I'm not going to get into that right now. Over here is import from my computer. If I click on SVG, it allows me to import an SVG, JPEG, uh, ping file, basically image files I could import into my drawing area. Below that is image tracing, paths, and freehand path. So I will go to shapes just to show you. This right here is called the object panel. So again, depending on what you've chosen in the object mode bar, this may look differently. This large area where you see your mat is just simply called the drawing area, and it basically allows you to work on your mat as if you're laying pieces down on your physical mat. And then to the right is this area right here is the control panel. And the control panel you will be using quite frequently, again, depending on what you have selected. So just quickly, I'm going to choose a square. When I click on it, it adds a square. And you'll notice that when I have this square highlighted, I can then have the properties of the square. For example, I could change the color of the fill. I can change the color of the line. And so you can see, it may be hard to see, but there's a pink line there, and so on. So the control panel, again, we'll be going over this in future lessons, but it has various things that you'll be using this control panel along with the object mode bar and the object panel quite frequently. And of course, you'll be able to zoom in and such with the toolbar. So that's pretty much it for just a general overview of the Brother Canvas workspace. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if so, I would really appreciate you giving the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this and more tutorials, please be sure to click the subscribe button below the video. In my next lesson, I will be going over working with shapes and borders and doing various things with them. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye now.